Hello, I'm Father Andrew Apostoli. I'm a member of the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and I have also been working for the last number of years as the Vice Postulator for the Cause of Canonization of Archbishop Fulton Sheen. I'd like to tell you in this story today how I first came to meet Bishop Sheen. When I was a young boy growing up in the Bronx, my grandfather used to watch Bishop Sheen on television, and he would always say to myself and my brothers, uh, watch of this man, watch of this man. Well, I watched him on television like millions of other people, uh, but I never thought I'd ever meet him. Well, when I got into theology, my studies in, in preparation for the priesthood, I was in my fourth year of theology. I had, already, I had already been ordained a deacon by Bishop Carney, and then Bishop Carney retired. So I was concerned as to who the next bishop of Rochester, New York, was going to be, because then I felt that's the bishop that's going to ordain me. Because that's what we would do. We had our early ordinations around February or March. We didn't wait till June. And we also, as Franciscans, we had uh, uh, our ordination separate from the diocesan seminarians. So I was anxious to learn who the new bishop would be. Well, one day, it was around close to Thanksgiving, I was uh, in the kitchen at the friary having a cup of coffee, and one of the brothers ran in and said, guess who our new bishop is? It's Bishop Fulton Sheen. Well, I, at first I didn't believe him. I didn't think they were going to send him up to Rochester. Well, sure enough, he was our bishop, and he would be the one who would ordain me. Well, I looked forward to an opportunity. He was going to come to visit the little town of Geneva just before Christmas, and I wanted to meet him. All the brothers were going to go to the church in town where the bishop would be speaking. But I, as a deacon, had to be sent to another town to preach that day. And I was so disappointed because I, fit, I said to myself, well, the other brothers are going to meet him. I'm, going to, I'm not going to be back in time. You know, I had to preach at three masses that day, like an 8, a 10, and a 12. And uh, the bishop was leaving Geneva around 1 o'clock, so I said, I'll never get back in time. And, uh, well, finally I got back very late. I got back around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I was so disappointed, I figured I had missed him, he was gone from Geneva. Well, you know what, as soon as I got back to the friary, this brother comes running out of the door and he says, hurry up, he said, Bishop Sheen's going to be here in five minutes. Well, you know, it, it was a terrific visit, he stayed for an hour. He was so happy to see the Franciscan brothers in his diocese, the Capuchins. And um, uh, it was then that my director said to him, Bishop Sheen, this is Brother Andrews talking about me, and he said, he's a deacon, he's up for, uh, for ordination, would you ordain him? And he said yes. And after Christmas, because that was just before Christmas that happened, uh, we had a little trouble getting him because his, his secretary said, everybody wants Bishop Sheen, you know? He said, I'm only making his schedule one week in advance. Well, you can't get ordained in a week. So what happened was um, my director sent him a letter and reminded him that he had said he would ordain me, and he kept his promise. He said, I told you, I promised you that I would ordain Brother Andrew, and he kept his promise, and we had a church, a date, and uh, the rest is history. He ordained me as a priest on March 16, 1967, and that day affected the whole rest of my life.